Leo. Hello, this is Renee and welcome back. Leo, this is your love reading for the month of February. So if you have Leo anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Okay, let's get some oracle messages to take a look at your energy, Leo. Okay, Leo, we have, you are perfectly beautiful. Okay, on the bottom, we have change one thing today. Start small. Okay, Leo, I'm really thinking that you have a need to change your perspective. And I feel like you're really needing some type of change. Um, you're looking forward to some type of change. And I, I really feel like starting with one thing. Think about one thing you can change, Leo. What is in your ability to change one thing if you have the ability to do to do so okay we have gratitude i am thankful for this life and for the opportunities that it presents okay so i really feel like you being your leo self you're very beautiful and you're also very thankful i feel like you're really you're really working on yourself leo Wow. And we have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So I really feel like you're looking for that beautiful change to come into your life. You're looking for that beautiful moment that you just evolve and expand into something great. We also have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So that's that, you know how when we speak about Leo, we speak about courage, about pride, about strength. You know, I feel like that's your true Leo self. You know, not that you're egotistic or anything like that, but that you're looking for the change, for the beauty, for the happiness. I feel like there's a lot of things for you to be grateful for, Leo. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what tarot has to say for Leo for the month of February. Wow. And of course, we got to start out strong. Okay. <clears throat> Leo. I feel like you're looking for change because you're feeling kind of tied down. You're feeling boxed in. You're feeling... You're feeling like you're surrounded by some kind of negative energy. And this could be this could be dealing in love. I feel like there's something going on that's you're feeling kind of weighted down, Leo. Wow, Leo. Okay, we have the devil and the lovers. With the devil and the lovers, you're breaking this bond in this love rela relationship. You're breaking this bond because it's turned toxic. It's gone past negative and you finally made the choice to end this toxic situation some kind of situation that you're in that's why we have change here Wow yes you're moving past this 
energy. You're leaving this toxic energy behind and you're moving away. You may be literally moving, but I feel like you're trying to find more calmness. You're trying to find peace. You're trying to find peace of mind. Wow. Okay. Let's get more messages here, Spirit. Give me more messages for Leo. <clears throat> You're finding your balance, Leo. You're leaving the situation behind. You're finding your balance. You're moving on into a calmer situation. Finding more peace, more serenity. After leaving this toxic situation. After making the choice of leaving. Yes, okay. What dropped was the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Okay. Leo, you're finding balance, but you're still in recovery. I feel like because of this situation up here, with this toxic relationship I feel like you're trying to rebound like you're trying to gain your mental strength you know and I feel like just trying to focus on your balance trying to focus on dealing with how to feel balanced it's like you're waking up finally from this long lasting nightmare. You're coming into more awareness. Into more of a feeling of self love. Gratitude. Being thankful. A new beginning. Finding what makes you happy. Leo. Finding a new passion. Finding, nurturing, support, healing with the Empress card. Truly loving yourself and feeling good about yourself. You know, finding your healing, balance, tranquility. I feel like after leaving this toxic and toxic relationship finding your way out was enough of the struggle I feel now you're kind of focusing on yourself you're focusing on your healing you're focusing on making yourself feel better increasing your confidence increasing your ego um, building yourself up you know I feel like you you are your main focus But you're finding support. For some of you, Leo, this is someone who has helped you out of this situation. This may be someone else that you've been dealing with. Someone who has kind of helped you through the process. Um... This could be a good friend. This could also be a new lover. Um, but I feel like this person is helping you through the process. They're helping you regain your confidence. They're, they're helping you making your plans for moving away from this toxic situation. They've helped you through this process. And I feel like this person has been there for you has supported you, has guided you in a way. I feel like this message is very specific. This message is for somebody. Um, I'm not sure if it's for the full collective, for Leo, but this message seems very, very specific. Uh, Leo, I feel like you're gaining your control. 
you're finding your way through the process. You are coming out on top. You have the Emperor and the Empress. So I feel like with the Emperor and the Empress energy, I feel like you're you're finally coming into balance, but you're loving yourself doing so. You know, um, I feel like if this is a person who helped you through the process, this may be a new lover that you're dealing with, with this Empress and the Emperor energy. Um, hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. We have the Hangman. So, Leo. I feel like you had to sacrifice a lot to gain this wisdom, to gain this knowledge. Um, but I feel like you've learned huge lessons. And I feel like those are lifelong lessons. And it's totally changed your perspective about the way you see certain people or certain things. Um, but I feel like you have a lot more happiness. You're finally able to feel grounded and be happy after leaving this toxic relationship. After finally making the choice to end it. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you're much more happier. You're finally finding something that makes you happy. That makes you smile. A reason for you to make plans for the future. I feel like this is you expanding. This is you seeing the world. Acknowledging certain things for the first time. You're growing, Leo. The Three of Cups. And I believe that with the Three of Cups, I feel like you're growing your support system. For some of you, this was a three-party situation. Because I feel like you had this toxic relationship. And then I feel like you are the one that initiated the third party. Because you needed help to get out of this old relationship. So you have this new person who's helping you get out of this situation. I feel like this this three party situation it's finally coming to a conclusion. It's finally um you're finally moving past it. We have the 8 of pentacles. With the Eight of Pentacles, I really feel like you're finally able to enjoy yourself again. You're finally able to be your true self. Uh, to not be as guarded. Uh, because I feel like with this, with this energy on the top, with this love energy that you're moving away from, I feel like you had to be very guarded. You had to really hold yourself back. Not really be your true self. Um, I feel like you were you kind of had eyes on you when you were acting a, a sort of way. Um, but I feel like now you're able to finally enjoy yourself. You're able to finally get out there and do exactly what you want to do. You're, you're finally able to make the choices that you want to make. You know, I, I feel like those choices aren't made for you. Hmm. Very interesting. We have the King of Swords. So I feel like with the King of Swords energy, Leo, I feel like you're finally able to speak your truth. This is a breakthrough for you. You're able to see things that you haven't been able to see before. You're able to do things that you may not have been able to do in quite a while. Um, but I feel like you're able to speak exactly how you feel. You're able to do exactly how you feel like doing. Um, you feel free. This is you cutting those chains, cutting those ropes to be free. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You, you're moving away from this toxic relationship that was holding you back. That was kind of binding you in a way. And you're able to speak your truth. Speak your peace. 
communicate exactly how you feel, exactly what you feel inside. Um, very interesting. And I feel like... I feel like you're able to pursue whatever you want to pursue now. I, I feel like nothing's holding you back. If this is an offer to, you know, go out with this Two of Cups energy. Or to pursue this Two of Cups energy. I feel like you're able to do whatever it is you want to do. There's nothing holding you back. There's nothing holding you, chaining you down any longer, Leo. And I, I feel like at one point you felt like something was chaining you down. Yeah, we had some cards that fell out here. The Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're done with heartbreak. You're done with disappointment. You're done with someone controlling your life. You're, you're done with it. You felt that feeling for too long. And look at this. You're done with it. It's done and over. You're no longer letting anyone control you. Anyone break your heart in that way again. You know? I feel like you learned that lesson. What other messages do we have for Leo? Okay. Wow. More cards want to come out. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. So yeah, I, you know what? You were moving fast from this energy of heartbreak. You were moving fast from it. And I feel like you were running from this heartbreak. You have the Queen of Swords. So you're definitely speaking your truth. You're definitely finding yourself to be self-sufficient. Finally being totally honest with yourself and others of what you've been dealing with, what you've been going through. I feel like you may have been keeping a lot of what you've been going through secret with the High Priestess. I feel like you've been hiding things. You've been keeping things secret. Uh, but I feel like everything's all out in the open now. Everything is finally coming together. You're finally able to trust yourself, to trust your intuition, to follow your dreams. You have the Two of Swords at the bottom. So you finally made the choice. You've been to the crossroads and you've went down your path. You finally made the choice to travel away from this energy. Um, we're going to get another deck so we can get some more cards about this. Tell me more messages for Leo. I feel like this, is, like I said, I feel like this is very specific. This is for somebody. Okay, Leo, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So, Leo, I feel like you're moving away from that feeling of not having enough, not having enough self-worth, not having enough emotion, not having enough money. You know, you, you're, you're at the point when you're done not having enough. You finished with it. You've been working very hard to make yourself more sustainable. You're, you're finding new qualities. You're finding new skills within yourself, you know. I, I feel like you're being fully supported in the work that you're doing. You have the Queen of Wands. So I feel like you're finally finding this passion within you. You're finally finding what truly... What you truly enjoy... You know, you're finding this new feeling of purpose, um, new path you're going on. Yeah, the Hierophant. You've learned a lot of great lessons. Um, the Hierophant is the teacher. He's also the provider of great wisdom, a spiritual leader. Um, so I, I feel like... Through this situation, you've become more spiritual. You're, you've learned to listen to the spirit. 
and and you're turning you're making a turning point you're you're going through this period of change things are changing they're finally turning in the right direction for leo you know you've hit this turning point you have the knight of cups wow okay so leo <clears throat> Not that you're looking for a love offer right away, but we do have the Knight of Cups twice. There's someone here trying to offer you their cup of love. There's someone here who's trying to offer you some kind of assistance, some kind of gift of some sort. So and I do feel like once you leave this situation, you do have offers of love. You do have the ability to have strength in twos during this time especially with that two of cups i feel like there, there's someone here to support you to help guide you through you have the justice card so definitely we have a lot of major arcana here a lot so i feel like this is a huge message for you to um gain your balance gain your control that this is a situation where all of your truth is coming out and it's going in your favor. You're coming out ahead, Leo. You're you're making that turning point, you know? You're being led by your healing. Okay, we're going to get one more card. One more card for Leo. The fool. There we go. The fool. You're starting your new journey. You're starting This is a fresh start. You have a fresh start after making the choice to leave this toxic relationship so this is a new beginning for you leo so it all depends on what you are going to do with this new beginning let's get a few oracle cards to finish up okay we have manifestation so i believe that you're manifesting something great into your life after this time of weakness time of uh, grief i feel like you're expecting miracles and i feel like this is making a great way for manifestation and miracles to happen something great is coming into your life leo we have ease and grace so that's all about gratitude you know something is going to happen that you least expect it in divine timing it's going to happen at its own time but it, just be aware that it's in the process it's coming and i feel like it's coming very quickly but your miracles are happening yeah we have beyond the ordinary the number 43 might be very important for you we also have spirit of gratitude so I definitely feel like, and I, I know that you're thankful, Leo, but I, I feel like I feel like something is manifesting for you because of the grateful attitude that you have. I feel like that's the reason why something is manifesting for you. We have instinct. So definitely follow your intuition. Follow spirit and release. Yeah, there's there's still some negative thoughts that maybe you need to release. Yeah, you're still at a crossroads in a way. There's still a few things that need to be released. You need to follow your intuition in the situation. You can't just walk away from a toxic um relationship and not leave with some kind of damage does that make sense and i feel like you know enlightenment the feeling of truth is being shown to you creation manifestation yeah you're creating something big you're creating something huge in your life. Something big is about to happen. 
And I feel like it's happening because you have faith. Beautiful, beautiful energy, Leo. Beautiful energy. Okay. And you know what? That That is what I'm going to leave you with, uh, Leo. And if this reading resonates, which I really feel like this was a very specific message. But if it does resonate, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Um, and until your next reading, Leo, many blessings, love and light.